Check that guy out. Pretty nice. Got a new drill. Well, not new, but new to us. Before we had a 15 footer, which each one of those boxes is about 10 foot on here. So that gives us 30 foot. So we had a 15 footer before. So basically half of this machine, but yeah, we needed to get our cover crops drilled into the ground a little quicker in the fall. We go out and right behind the combine basically drill in our cover crops. And so we wanted to be able to get all those in the ground a little quicker in the fall. And so we came to consensus that we needed a bigger drill. So here we go. Good old crust buster. A few little things to fix on it. A couple tires and some leaky lines and cylinders and she'll be good as new. So yeah, it's exciting. Woohoo! So, after doing a little investigating into what that sound is, I think, I'm hoping anyway, that I got it figured out. Underneath here, on my drive shaft, or any drive shaft actually, you got U joints there. That guy at the back, back there. This guy. Got one up at the front, too. Well, when those guys start going bad, they'll start squeaking and stuff on you. So I ran into town real quick and got a couple new ones. So we'll try uh, pulling them old ones up, pull them old ones out and Slap the new ones in and see if uh, that makes an improvement or not. If you need more leverage on a bolt, but you can only get a wrench on it, a good trick is you can slip one on over the other. So now the trick is getting this out. Got this off, this clamp here, and the one on the other side. Well, now that we got that end out, this other end should just slide right out. Like so. Let me show you something. See how easy this guy moves? Nice and easy. This other end though. See how hard that moves? That's where my noise is. These guys. Well, I got two of them. Two U-joints, so I'll, I'll put the one toward that goes to the rear of the drive shaft in also, but this one definitely needs to be replaced. 
So let's see if we can get this. Oh, a lot easier than I thought. A lot easier than I thought. Rotate. Oh. This one's not coming out quite as easy. We'll give her a little nudge. Oh, that was close. Almost took one in the eye there. This one's kind of rusty. So he might... Oh, jeez. Oh. Yeah. So let's get some persuasion tools. Uh -huh. And more tools. And rust bomb. Oh. Rust bomb. Yeah. Basically like WD-40, but better. Made by Conklin. Wow, that is tight. Toit, toit, toit. Noise, noise. Persuasion tool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that we need a little bit bigger persuasion tool. Well, can't get it out. We're gonna cut it out. See them little roller pins in there? That's what, uh, when that goes on there, that's your bearing basically. So when you stick this back on, you gotta be careful because you can catch those little pins and push them over and that's no good. Where's my light? Where's my light? Too big of a mess around here. Sometimes pinging on the outside of it there will make it slide. Now, it's off a little. Put it in neutral. And we can Turn it. Now you're not work cooperating. There we go. Ratcheting and wrench. See this in here? This turns. Nice. So then you don't have to pull it off. Right. Felt like it was cross thread, but it's in quite a ways, so I don't know what the deal is. You're gonna fight me to the bitter end. Oh, 
will do. Be right back. Squirt a little That's bomb in there. Watch out. Everything. Getting everything messy. What you gotta do what you gotta do. I think it helped. Oh yeah, I think there was just something in there in the threads. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure would be nice if we had one of them slick car lifts. But we don't. So that means crawling around on the floor on some cardboard. Does every farmer do that when you hear somebody drive by, you stop what you're doing and look at the road and you can hear the car coming just to see who it is even though three quarters of the time you don't even know who it is that drove by? Finally. Stick that guy back in there. Don't forget any tools under here. So don't want to run them over and break them. Especially the lights. Ooh, he's hiding behind there. Or a can. That'd make for a nice big bang. So I got the drive shaft back in. Dad and Arlen are putting a couple new tires on there. Dad went down to the co-op and got the, had them mount some new tires so they're slapping those back on and tinkering with that. I gotta take off and run into town because uh, a buddy of mine needed some help. Actually some other friends own a axe throwing location business. They have multiple ones around the country. It started here in Nebraska. And, uh, it's actually a lot of fun. Sounds kind of weird and dull, but beer and axe throwing, can't go wrong with that. But uh, we, we help them out by cutting up some of their targets, just like some two by eights that go on the wall that are thrown at them. So, Moe's usually takes care of it, but he uh, calls up and asks for some help every now and again if he needs to take a bunch or whatnot to one of the other locations. So he called me. We were supposed to do it today. We were supposed to do a bunch, but then I started working on the drive shaft this morning, late this morning, thinking it would only take maybe an hour or so. Well, that turned into three or four with the way that thing acted so he texted me about oh three o'clock maybe something like that saying that the uh, lumber place only delivered one bunk of wood when they were supposed to deliver two jeez washboard hate it uh so we got one bunk there that needs to be cut and he texted me at about three saying that, saying he was gonna get started in, in about an hour. And if I could still make it, that'd be great. Well, it's almost five now. And I tried calling him here just a couple minutes ago. He didn't pick up, so I don't know. I guess I'm gonna run in there and see if he ends up needing any help. If not, then I guess maybe I'll just hang out with them and have a beer or something. See if we got any mate. Ooh, Amazon. I think I know what this is. Rip this open real quick. Rip this open real quick. See what we got. Yes. Noise, noise, noise. Noise, 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 noise. 
little cage for my GoPro. To fit around it and then mount to my little stick and it's not here yet but a little thing from GoPro that slides in here so I can put a mic on there. You can hear me a little better then hopefully. Fun fun. Well, I'm going to run in the house real quick, get a couple things, and then head into Lincoln.